Thank you very much. Tonight we celebrate the winners of the most successful merit competition of its kind in the world. The authors and illustrators who have won the contest in this 26th year are at the beginning of their careers. And if past history is any indication, many of them will go on to shape a new tomorrow. We will also this year look back at 25 years of the Achievement Awards and what a quarter century it has been, launching the professional careers of hundreds of writers and illustrators. In addition to our guests who are with us here at the Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood, we also have thousands of viewers worldwide joining us as we stream this event live via the internet. So, on behalf of everyone at Author Services, Galaxy Press, the publisher of the L. Ron Hubbard Presents Writers of the Future Anthology, and the esteemed judges of this contest, let me welcome each and every one of you as we honor the winners of the Writers and Illustrators of the Future contest. We have among us a number of distinguished presenters and guests that I would like to acknowledge. Please hold your applause until all are announced. Dan Barstow is the president of the Challenger Center for Space Science Education, an international outreach organization that promotes interest in the space program and careers in science and technology. Martin Cove is best known for his role in the Karate Kid trilogy. He has been seen in films such as Rambo II, Wyatt Earp, and the Emmy award-winning TV series Cagney and Lacey for six years. She has been a recognizable face on television and in film. In her current project, she stars as Sarah Monaghan in ABC's supernatural drama, The Gates, Miss Marisol Nichols. Jim Meskimen has appeared in the films Apollo 13, The Grinch, Frost Nixon, and provided voices for Batman, Gotham Knight, and Justice League and Crisis on Tours. Actress Lee Purcell has been nominated for two primetime Emmys and can currently be seen in the NBC TV series Persons Unknown. Phil Proctor is an award-winning Broadway actor and writer, probably best known as the voice of Howard on The Rugrats, The Drunken French Monkey in Dr. Doolittle Films, and as a founding member of the three-time Grammy-nominated Firesign Theater. Aside from her many commercial and TV guest star appearances, Denise Duff starred in Full Moon Entertainment's vampire series Subspecies, shot entirely on location in Romania. The voice of Craig Ferguson's robot co-host on The Late Late Show, actor and comedian Josh Robert Thompson. Let's give them all a warm welcome. Our blue ribbon panel of judges is the bedrock of these awards. Some of the most notable creators in their fields select the very best among the many entries. These talented professionals mark the rich past and present of speculative fiction and illustration. Again, please hold your applause until all are announced. Kevin J. Anderson is the international best-selling author of more than 100 books, as well as being a comic writer, anthology editor, and record producer. Chief Scientist of Air Force Space Command Dr. Doug Beeson has authored 14 novels and over 100 publications. Award-winning artist and longtime illustrators of the future judge Dr. Laura Brodian Fries. Winner of the Hugo and Five Chesley Awards, artist Stephen Hickman has illustrated for 30 years and published over 450 covers. 1985 contest winner, author of numerous novels and winner of the Nebula and Bram Stoker Awards, Nina Kiriki Hoffman. Science fiction author and editor, hold off NASA's Achievement Medal and the Isaac Asimov Memorial Award, Dr. Yodi Kondo. Master of Visual Communications in Multiple Genres, Coordinating Judge for the Illustrators of the Future Contest, Ron Lindan. Hugo nominee, Art Award winner, and Illustrators of the Future Judge since the beginning of the contest, Val Lakey Lindan. Co-author of the New York Times bestselling Star Wars, Young Jedi Knight series, as well as the new Star Challengers books, Rebecca Mesta. One of the nation's premier book cover artists, including the Chronicles of Narnia and the New Jedi Order series, Cliff Nielsen. <laughs> Winner of every major science fiction award, the legendary creator of Ringworld and the known space series, Larry Nevin. Multiple award winner, best-selling author, editor, and popular columnist, Dr. Jerry Purnell. Philip K. Dick and World Fantasy Award winner, as well as lead workshop instructor for Writers of the Future, Tim Powers. 
Called the Dean of Canadian Science Fiction, Robert J. Sawyer has won every major science fiction award. His novel Flash Forward was the basis for the hit ABC TV series. Former contest winner and now successful novelist, K.D. Wentworth is not only the first reader and coordinating judge for Writers of the Future, but she is also the editor of the annual anthology. A former contest grand prize winner, Dave Wolverton, has published 50 novels under his own name and also his pen name, David Farland. And this year, we are very honored to welcome four impressive new judges for Writers of the Future. A former contest winner in 1993, Eric Flint has written over 50 novels, both solo and in collaboration with Katie Wentworth, David Drake, David Weber, Mercedes Lackey, and many others. He has also edited numerous anthologies and was the founder and editor of Jim Bain's Universe online magazine. Mike Resnick has been nominated for Science Fiction's Hugo Award 34 times, a record for any writer, and won five times. According to Logos Magazine, he is the all-time leading award winner for short science fiction. He is also the author of 61 novels and over 250 short stories, and he has edited more than 40 anthologies. Unfortunately unable to attend this evening, the following two new judges are very special to us. Both sprang from the contest in the very first years. They went on to have highly successful careers, and in the 25th year of the contest returned as judges. Best-selling author Christine Catherine Rush has won major awards for her work in mystery, romance, science fiction, and fantasy. She was also editor of the prestigious magazine of fantasy and science fiction. As a new writer, Chris attended the very first test workshop for Writers of the Future, where she met her husband, our fourth new contest judge, Dean Wesley Smith. As a published finalist in the initial year of the contest, Dean was the first person ever to receive a Writers of the Future award on stage. Since that time, he has published more than 100 novels and 100 short stories. With his wife, Christine Catherine Rush, he founded Pulp House Publishing, and he has worked as editor for Pocket Books. To these esteemed judges and to those unable to attend, thank you for contributing your time and talent to discovering tomorrow's visionary storytellers and illustrators. You are the true treasure of these contests. Will all judges please stand up and be warmly acknowledged? Finally, we acknowledge the passing of a preeminent illustrators of the future judge. Frank Facetta was one of the foremost artists in the science fiction and fantasy genre, and his genius inspired generations. L. Ron Hubbard was one of Frank Facetta's greatest fans and referred to him as king of illustrators. He became a contest judge in 1988 and served in that capacity until his death in 2010, providing covers for 10 of the annual anthologies. He was also the recipient of the L. Ron Hubbard Lifetime Achievement Award in 1997. The contest and the science fiction world will miss him. Let his legacy live on. <laughs> 